everyone, this is going to be a really quick tutorial showing you how you can display video messages on the windows of your house using a projector in order to say thank you to all the amazing people who are keeping us safe during the coronavirus outbreak. It's going to be really straightforward and I'm even going to show you how to do a little bit of projection mapping to make it look even better. Let's see how many people we can get doing this and spread a bit of hope and positivity for everyone to see. First things first, you're going to need a projector. It doesn't need to be a really good or expensive one. You can get a budget portable projector for under £75 in the UK on Amazon. Um, it's about $70 in the US. I'm going to be using a MacBook Pro laptop, but you can use a Windows laptop or PC. I'm going to be connecting my laptop to my projector with a mini display port to HDMI cable, but you might need a different cable depending on the display outputs out of your machine and the connections on the back of your projector. The next step is to cover our windows with paper, so let's get to it. Ordinary white printer paper is perfect for this. Try to get as snug a fit as possible without too much creasing or bulging. And now we wait for the sun to go down. I've plugged my projector into a power source and I've put it on a table near the window. You could put it on a table or some boxes or a shelf, anything flat and stable. If you can get it roughly pointing towards the centre of the window, that's good. You also want the projector to be above the level of the windowsill, otherwise the windowsill will cast a shadow on the window and that's not what we want. So the most basic way to do this is simply to mirror my screen through the projector and play the video. To turn on mirror displays on a Mac, I go to System Preferences, Display, and in the Arrangement tab, I make sure that Mirror Displays is on. Windows users need to right-click on the desktop and choose Display Settings. Under Multiple Displays, choose Duplicate. Now if I play a video and go to full screen mode, it outputs from the projector. Clearly the problem here is that the projected image is not just going on the window where we want it, it's much bigger than the window and it's also skewed at an angle. One way around this is to position your projector more centrally to the window and as square onto the window as possible. If you are lucky, you might find the perfect position. There are also often some settings on the projector that allow you to distort the output to compensate for the distortion produced by projecting at an angle. But if, like me, you want another solution, then we're going to need to do a little bit of projection mapping. It sounds technical, but don't worry, it's not. It's very easy and it can be done in a few minutes with free software called MapMap, which can be downloaded at the link I've put in the description. Mac users also need to download something called GStreamer, which you'll see on the download page as well. First, turn off mirror displays if you're on a Mac. Windows users, change yours to extended desktop mode. Now open MapMap. Bring in a video by hitting this piece of film. Now we can see the video we just brought in over here in the library on the right. We won't see anything in either of our preview windows until we add a mesh by clicking this rectangle icon. Our mesh has appeared as a new layer over here. I'm going to pause the video while we're setting everything up. Use these magnifying glasses here to adjust your preview if needs be. If you don't see any control points around your video, come up here to view and make sure display controls is toggled on. You might have noticed that my video is back to front. That's because I'm rear projecting from inside the house for the audience to view from the other side. Therefore, it needs to be flipped horizontally so that it looks correct to people outside. I'm projecting across two windows, so I'm going to use this wide video content. I've also created single window content for you to use if you only have one window you want to project onto. If you are using a single window, this process will be even easier. I'm going to call this mesh left because it's going to be my left window. I'm going to pull these points in the input editor into the center to isolate just the left hand side inside my mesh.
At this point I want to go up to View and make sure that my output screen is set to my projector. Now to see something out of my projector I need to make sure that toggle full screen is on. It can help at this point if you turn the lights in the room down or off completely. Now in my output editor I pull the corner points into place on my window. You can see my text doesn't look quite right, it looks a bit squashed. If yours doesn't look quite right too, move these left hand points around until the proportions look about right. I'm happy with that. Now I'm ready to map the right hand side. So I'll duplicate this mesh by right clicking on it. I'll rename it right and move it over to the right hand side. Now in my output editor I'll pull the corner points onto the right hand corners of my window. That looks good to me. I'll turn off my controls and press play on my video which will loop until I pause it or close map map. The last thing you need to do is fully turn off the lights inside the room if you haven't already. And we're done! I hope you feel inspired to show your thanks to all the amazing people putting themselves at risk to keep us safe from coronavirus. If you know someone with a projector, share this video with them. If you get stuck, drop a comment down below and I will help you.